Bridget, thank you so much for putting in so much hard work into stopping those hippies. How are things going with the ordinance? Is it almost finished? And not yet. We still have some details to work out, but it should be ready for revision soon. Then we can get rid of the hippie nuisance for good. I'll be glad to see an end to those senseless protests. And think about how many supporters we will gain. If we're lucky, it will make hippies give up and leave town. It may help us gain supporters, but the hippies aren't all bad. I don't think we should try to make them leave town. You're not sympathizing with them, are you? You really don't know anything about maintaining a positive public image. I'm just saying that they are all bad. And what makes you think that? I met a woman at the park named Sabella today who was selling these beautiful scarves. She told me that she handmade every item she was selling. Even though she's a hippie, she was very kind and very talented. And if she left, she wouldn't be able to share these unique items with the community. You can get a scarf anywhere. It's not just about the scarves. The hippies bring diversity to the community. And cause unnecessary issues. Like those bohemians that were so rude to Juliana at school today. True, but you shouldn't have gotten involved. I had to defend myself, Mother. I tried to stop him again and tell him that peace was a better option, but he swooped down to their level. How barbaric. I was just trying to help everyone out by getting those nasty bohemians off the streets. <sighs> They're just like everybody else. Robert, I think you need to have a talk with your family. Their attitudes could cause big problems with the campaign. Just because they have different beliefs doesn't mean they're stupid. Are you really defending those bohemians that were so rude to you? I'm just saying they aren't stupid. Besides, you act like I'm some dainty little girl. Well, aren't you? Not at all. By the way, you use the word bohemian so many times that I am sick of hearing it. Dad, the point is you shouldn't have gone in trouble at school. What did I say about having a positive behavior until the election? I had to defend myself. Not in that way you didn't. If you get in any more trouble, I'll have to send you to a private school across town so you won't sabotage the family's name. Well, maybe I'd rather go to a private school. Maybe there there won't be so many bohe... nonconformists. And maybe a bunch of free thinkers won't be able to afford to go there. Don't give me any sacks. I'm giving you nothing but straight facts, mother. Everything's going to be your family. That getting in trouble at school for one day isn't going to affect the election. Just don't make a habit of it. That is a great representative for this family. Thank you, Uncle Robert. It would be horrible if the media sees any of Robert's relatives associating with hippies. No one will ever take his platform seriously. Exactly, which is why we need to shun them entirely. Next time they try to provoke any of you, just don't respond. That way, they can't accuse us of anything. I suppose that's the best game to do until the election. But afterwards, let's just try to keep our minds a little bit more open. Mom! Maybe Mom has a point. What did you just say? I'm just saying that Mom might have a point. I hope you're joking. No daughter of mine is going to be seen around with some hippie. Some people just have different opinions than you. Is that a crime? I'll go talk to her. Peter, while Juliana's free-thinking behavior doesn't change her mind about dating her, I think you and her would make an excellent couple. Oh, of course not. I like Juliana a lot, and nothing could ever change that. Plus, we had a really good conversation at the masquerade ball, and I plan on going to play tennis with her tomorrow. That sounds wonderful. It does. Two young people from prestigious families on a romantic outing? That's the kind of person we need.